Multiple Endocrine Neoplasia Type 1, Wikipedia Article Audio Multiple Endocrine Neoplasia Type 1 or Wormers Syndrome is part of a group of disorders, the multiple endocrine neoplasias, that affect the endocrine system through development of neoplastic lesions in pituitary, parathyroid gland and pancreas. Signs and Symptoms Parathyroid Pancreas Pituitary Other Manifestations Genetic Diagnostic Workup Types Treatment Popular Culture Hyperparathyroidism is present in greater than or equal to 90% of patients. Asymptomatic hypercalcemia is the most common manifestation, about 25% of patients have evidence of nephrolithiasis or nephrocalcinosis. In contrast to sporadic cases of hyperparathyroidism, diffuse hyperplasia or multiple adenomas are more common than solitary adenomas. Pancreatic islet cell tumors occur in 60-70% to 70 of patients. Tumors are usually multicentric. Multiple adenomas or diffuse islet cell hyperplasia commonly occurs, such tumors may arise from the small bowel rather than the pancreas. About 30% of tumors are malignant and have local or distant metastases. Malignant islet cell tumors due to MEN1 syndrome often have a more benign course than do sporadically occurring malignant islet cell tumors. About 40% of islet cell tumors originate from a beta cell, secrete insulin, and can cause fasting hypoglycemia. Beta cell tumors are more common in patients 40 years of age. Non-beta cell tumors are somewhat more likely to be malignant. Most islet cell tumors secrete pancreatic polypeptide, the clinical significance of which is unknown. Gastrin is secreted by many non-beta cell tumors. Increased gastrin secretion increases gastric acid, which may inactivate pancreatic lipase, leading to diarrhea and steatorrhea. Increased gastrin secretion also leads to peptic ulcers in 50% of men 1 patients. Usually the ulcers are multiple or atypical in location, and often bleed, perforate, or become obstructed. Peptic ulcer disease may be intractable and complicated. Among patients presenting with Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, 20-60% have men 1. A severe secretory diarrhea can develop and cause fluid and electrolyte depletion with non-beta cell tumors. This complex, referred to as the watery diarrhea, hypokalemia, and achlorhydria syndrome has been ascribed to vasoactive intestinal polypeptide, although other intestinal hormones or secretagogues may contribute. Hypersecretion of glucagon, somatostatin, chromogranin, or calcitonin, ectopic secretion of ACTH resulting in Cushing's syndrome, and hypersecretion of somatotropin releasing hormones sometimes occur in non beta cell tumors. All of these are rare in men 1. Non functioning pancreatic tumors also occur in patients with MEN1 and may be the most common type of pancreatoduodenal tumor in MEN1. The size of the non functioning tumor correlates with risk of metastasis and death. Pituitary tumors occur in 15 to 42 percent of MEN1 patients. From 25 to 90 percent are prolactinomas. About 25% of pituitary tumors secrete growth hormone or growth hormone and prolactin. Excess prolactin may cause galactorrhea, and excess growth hormone causes acromegaly clinically indistinguishable from sporadically occurring acromegaly. About 3% of tumors secrete ACTH, producing Cushing's disease. Most of the remainder are non-functional. 
local tumor expansion may cause visual disturbance, headache, and hypopituitarism. Pituitary tumors in men One patients appear to be larger and behave more aggressively than sporadic pituitary tumors. Adenomas and adenomatous hyperplasia of the thyroid and adrenal glands occurs occasionally in men 1 patients. Hormone secretion is rarely altered as a result, and the significance of these abnormalities is uncertain. Carcinoid tumors, particularly those derived from the embryologic foregut, occur in isolated cases. Multiple subcutaneous and visceral lipomas, angiofibromas, and collagenomas may also occur. People with multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1 are born with one mutated copy of the MEN1 gene in each cell. Then, during their lifetime, the other copy of the gene is mutated in a small number of cells. These genetic changes result in no functional copies of the MEN1 gene in selected cells, allowing the cells to divide with little control and form tumors. This is known as Knudsen's two-hit hypothesis and is a common feature seen with inherited defects in tumor suppressor genes. Oncogenes can become neoplastic with only one activating mutation, but tumor suppressors inherited from both mother and father must be damaged before they lose their effectiveness. The exception to the two-hit hypothesis occurs when suppressor genes exhibit dose response, such as ATR. The exact function of MEN1 and the protein, menin, produced by this gene is not known but following the inheritance rules of the two-hit hypothesis indicates that it acts as a tumor suppressor. In a diagnostic workup individuals with a combination of endocrine neoplasias suggestive of the MEN1 syndrome are recommended to have a mutational analysis of the MEN1 gene if additional diagnostic criteria are sufficiently met, mainly including Multiple endocrine neoplasia or MEN is part of a group of disorders that affect the body's network of hormone-producing glands. Hormones are chemical messengers that travel through the bloodstream and regulate the function of cells and tissues throughout the body. Multiple endocrine neoplasia involves tumors in at least two endocrine glands. Tumors can also develop in other organs and tissues. These growths can be non-cancerous or cancerous. If the tumors become cancerous, some cases can be life-threatening. The two major forms of multiple endocrine neoplasia are called type 1 and type 2. These two types are often confused because of their similar names. However, type 1 and type 2 are distinguished by the genes involved the types of hormones made, and the characteristic signs and symptoms. These disorders greatly increase the risk of developing multiple cancerous and non-cancerous tumors in glands such as the parathyroid, pituitary, and pancreas. Multiple endocrine neoplasia occurs when tumors are found in at least two of the three main endocrine glands. Tumors can also develop in organs and tissues other than endocrine glands. If the tumors become cancerous, some cases can be life-threatening. The disorder affects 1 in 30,000 people. Although many different types of hormone-producing tumors are associated with multiple endocrine neoplasia, Tumors of the parathyroid gland, pituitary gland, and pancreas are most frequent in multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1. MEN1 associated overactivity of these three endocrine organs are briefly described here. In the video game Trauma Team, Gabriel Cunningham's son, Joshua Cunningham, is diagnosed with Wormer syndrome. It is also mentioned in the South Korean drama Medical Top Team, as Dr. Choi Ajin is diagnosed with MEN1. Age 40 years, positive family history, multifocal or recurrent neoplasia, two or more organ systems affected. 
Overactivity of the parathyroid gland is the most common sign of this disorder. Hyperparathyroidism disrupts the normal balance of calcium in the blood, which can lead to kidney stones, thinning of the bones, high blood pressure, loss of appetite, nausea, weakness, fatigue, and depression. Neoplasia in the pituitary gland can manifest as prolactinomas, whereby too much prolactin is secreted suppressing the release of gonadotropins, causing a decrease in sex hormones such as testosterone. Pituitary tumor in MEN1 can be large and cause signs by compressing adjacent tissues, pancreatic tumors associated with MEN1 usually form in the beta cells of the islets of longer Hans, causing oversecretion of insulin, resulting in low blood glucose levels. However, Many other tumors of the pancreatic islets of longer Hans can occur in men 1. One of these, involving the alpha cells, causes oversecretion of glucagon, resulting in a classic triad of high blood glucose levels, a rash called necrolytic migratory erythema, and weight loss. Another is a tumor of the non-beta islet cells, known as a gastrinoma which causes the oversecretion of the hormone gastrin, resulting in the overproduction of acid by the acid-producing cells of the stomach and a constellation of sequelae known as Zollinger-Ellison syndrome. Zollinger-Ellison syndrome may include severe gastric ulcers, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, chronic diarrhea, malnutrition, and subsequent weight loss. Other non-beta islet cell tumors associated with MEN1 are discussed below.